Hey, what's up guys, how are you? This is the Zynus faux leather bed frame along with the Zynus eight inch uh, memory foam mattress. I'm in my studio right now and I bought two beds for this studio in case you know I wanna take a nap here. If people come from out of town, they wanna crash somewhere. And this bed setup right here only costs $300 total. I will link both these down below. I'll link the mattress and I'll link the bed frame down, to, down below. I just assembled it and here in a second, I'm gonna show you that whole process. It was. That was the easiest bed frame I've ever assembled. Now this one's a little bit cheaper than the other bed frame I got. The other one was the Zynus, um, I forgot, it's another one, but there's another video on my channel about it. Um, but this one is only 145 bucks or something like that, prime shipped, everything. Um, so that was a super steal. It was super easy to put together. It took me like literally 25 minutes and that was also including me like doing like camera stuff. So it takes longer whenever you're like setting up like a product review to like show people things and like get the angles right. So I could have done it in like 15, 20 minutes um, if I did, wouldn't have had to do that. So it was super easy, simple setup. Um, it seems super sturdy. So there's a gap from the, the bottom of the slats to the bottom of the headboard. And I wanted to make sure that the, the mattress wouldn't be underneath that. And it fits like perfectly so you don't have a gap in between the mattress and the headboard. Because me personally, I'm a side sleeper. My pillows get kind of wedged up against the headboard and I lay my head there to where if I didn't have a headboard, if there was a gap there, the pillows would get like kind of pushed down into that gap and I don't want that. So that was one thing I was looking, uh, kind of looking out for and this bed fits perfectly. It doesn't have little uh, sticky pads on, the, on wooden slats like the other one does. This one's just like metal um, kind of bar slats. So it could slide off over time possibly. Um, but again, that's not a huge deal. Uh, a lot of mattresses could do that. All right, anyways, enough rambling. Let's get on with the unboxing and the assembling. Down the wrapper. And one more big metal piece here. That's less pieces than I expected. We have some accessories. Some more accessories. We have a bunch of hardware, a ratcheting tool with com which comes in super handy, way better than an Allen key. Box out of here. So it shows on the packaging just like a simple little diagram on how it goes together. So there's that main sheet right here, main sheet, and then you get one big huge um, diagram as well. Okay, so we got three and four over here. This one is one and two. Okay, so this will be our first, one of our first pieces. The big like leather headboard. Oh, we have a one and two right here. Okay, so literally the numbers are a sticker right here. So you can see, so it's gonna go this way, like this. And now I just gotta screw these in. And this does come with this really cool ratchet thing. It's way better than having an Allen key for sure. Much more convenient. So definitely awesome. Good job, Dinos. And this is our hardware right here. They include everything and an Allen key and extra spare screws just in case you lose some. All right, so we got two screws for this side, two screws for that side. Let's stand this up. That's it's supposed to be. Kind of hand tighten them in there. Okay, so these numbers are just lining up. Two screws right here. I'm gonna ratchet it down. All right. Now next should be three and four, right? Okay, so this piece has three and four marked on it. Three and four are gonna match up here with three and four here. Keep this back, line this up like that, put some screws in here. One on this side, kind of tighten it down a little bit. And then now we use the ratchet. Just take this piece away because number five is right over here on that one. And then number five is one of these things. So I believe, you go like this, maybe? So this bracket goes on here. Let's put this through first. Just like that. And that screws into there like that. And then I assume the other one on the other side is number six. So the bolt goes through and number six gets screwed on like that. Okay, now I think we could set it down. This piece now will set into these grooves right here, like that. Just tighten it down. All right, one more long bolt. So we have a number nine 
Well, let's go in order, I guess. I think we'll use the medium screws for these ones. All right, so this one's Mark 7. Same as under here. Squeeze in here. Got a support there. And then number 8 is next. Kind of awkward getting into here, but not too bad. And then last but not least, we got number 9. Did you accidentally summon me? Yes. Shut up, Siri. Boom, there we go. That is done, holy crap. It's 212, so that was about 25 minutes, but that also includes like time of me setting up the camera at different angles and like zooming in and bringing up stuff to show you guys. So in reality, you could put this together in 20 minutes. This is the easiest bed frame I've ever put together. Holy crap, this is easy. All right, let's get a bed on here and then we'll finish the video. All right, and there you go. That was me putting this together. Um, and again, I just stress, it was so easy. This was, I've assembled uh, five bed frames in the past two years, and this was by far the easiest of the five. Um, it was also the cheapest, so I would definitely recommend it. And again, I will link this and this mattress down below so you can see exactly the one I was doing. And yeah, I'm super pleased with myself. I've spent about 700 bucks total on two bed setups with pillows and blankets and everything. So, I mean, $700, won't even, like $700 won't even buy you like one of those big Serta or Casper or like the purple mattresses. It won't even buy half of one, I don't think sometimes, um, depending on what you're getting. But for that much money, I got two full bed setups with bed frames and everything. So I remember my first time ever ordering a bed and a frame off Amazon and I was super skeptical. I was like, this can't, it's like too good to be true. It can't be that great, but it shows up. The bed's in a super compressed package um, and it expands out into this nice big foam bed and then you get the, you do have to assemble the frame, but that's not, most frames you would have to assemble anyways. So it's not a huge deal. But yeah, guys, that's my opinions and my thoughts on this. Um, I will do like six month and year updates as I go with these beds. I won't sleep on these as much as the ones in my house, but I, I will sleep on these a little bit. And I can kind of give you my thoughts here in six months and a year. So if you're seeing this and I haven't uploaded that, just kind of remind me in the comments and I'll do a full video kind of reviewing like a year later or six months later down the road. And again, guys, thanks for watching. Links will be in the description below. Hit the like button if this helped you out. Subscribe to the channel if you like me or <laughs> reviews. This channel is not all about beds. It's just random stuff I review. So you can check it out. And again, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.